You know, I know that this island is the product of greed and all, but this golden tree is just beautiful. Something about it. I guess I'm just a sucker for gold leaf. But, uh. Hello, everyone. Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 31 of Let's Play Secret of Mana. I don't think there's anything left for us to do right now on the Gold Isle. Uh, apparently Sage Jock is somewhere on this island, but uh, I'm not sure exactly where. Is there anyone else I can land on this island that won't land me like smack dab in the middle here? Can I like land on this beachy area, maybe? I don't know. Let's see about that. No, I guess not. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with my uh, other gut instinct and head for South Town if I can even find where that is. I might know sort of where that is, but um, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to find, I think. I think it's down south from here. Summer. I'll recognize the area if I see it, because I know where North Town is. So I imagine South Town has to be nearby. It's not. Wait, is it this? It might be this. Because there's this like this island north of the coast here. It's just a little like barren island, and I think this is where North Town is, which would make this South Town, wouldn't it? What the hell is that, dude? What is that? Oh my god, that's scary. I think this is South Town though. Yeah, I would recognize this music anywhere, but this might actually be North Town, now that I think about it. But, uh, what was that, like, swirling thing down there that I, like, tried to land on? I'm not totally sure. Okay, let me see. Is this South Town? If it is, then there's gonna be, like, an entrance up here. No, there's not. Okay. I need to go find South Town, then. So I'm not even gonna bother sticking around here, I guess. I don't know why I'm walking around like a jackass. Oh yeah, I love how he comes out like the the sun up there or whatever. Well, not the sun, but it's just a bright spot. It could be the sun, I guess. All right, um, like seriously, is it this over here? Is it this isn't South Town? Is it, this is like a palace or something? Let's find out. Yeah, this is the ruins. Okay, North Town ruins. All right, so I don't want this either. Well, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I've never seen that show, but I've heard the song and it's pretty catchy. But more importantly, where in the world is South Town? Okay, that's my quest right now. It can't be like way out here. It has to be this right here. They have to be connected like that, don't they? I, I don't know. I genuinely, I genuinely don't know. Um, what's this for here? I wonder. This looks like nothing really spectacular. Is that cannon? Maybe can travel around here somewhere. Maybe this is can travel. Looks like it. Well, let's see about this. You want to take me somewhere? Oh, I have to go back to Guy's Naval. That's right. That's totally right. Okay, um, Kakara Desert. Nope. No thanks. Okay. Can I call Flammy here? What are you talking about? Where am I? Oh, hey, look, I'm in South Town. <laughs> wow, what a coincidence. Okay. Um, well, I guess that's going to delay my my trip to Guy's Naval just that much longer. But let's see. They said someone was the Tasnica spy. That was the old lady, right? Up here, the old lady lived in this house, She and they said maybe she got caught? You. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, yes! Okay, sweet! Alright. Gladly get exchange it to have him back. Alright, sweet. Yeah, I'll get your husband, don't you worry. Man, I can't believe I figured that out. I love just... That's that's a beautiful thing about RPGs. You can just talk to anyone and you get a clue and just work it out in your head. I love that about games in general, I think. Just using my awesome wit to figure things out like that. Okay, before I head back to the Gold Isle, though, I need to go to Guy's Naval because I've put this off for so many videos now. I've known about it for so long. I've mentioned it so often that you guys are probably getting tired of it just tired as I am of not knowing what it is. So I'm going to go find Guy's Naval and see what's waiting for me there, because apparently there's an item there that I need to get, or that I should get, or something. Let's find out. Okay, I'm here now, and uh, Watts is actually gone, wow. Okay, I'm not sure whether this is even going to be worth it at this point in the game. I'm not, I don't know exactly what this is, but uh, apparently, like, the Elder here, or whatever he is, the Leader, has something for me. Now I've just got to remember where that guy is. Is he up here? The highest point of the tallest tower? Let's find out. I'll let you know when I find him. Is it this guy over here? Is he just, just the one sitting here? 
Guess let, let's find out. Dude, will you guys get down here, please? We gotta talk to him. Let's find out. Yes, it is. Okay. You're safe. Somehow you seem older. Oh, thanks for dropping by. Take this mallet with you. The mallet? The midge mallet. Ooh. A whole new weapon. Really? That dude. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Crap. I don't even. I don't remember how to get out of this place. Oh, no. I, I guess I just used the escape rope. Is that what I did last time? I used the magic rope. I, I keep calling it the escape rope. There we go. Okay. So the midge mallet. Let's see about that. Uh, let's. How about this? Uh, wait, is it not a weapon? Where was it? Midge mallet. I don't. What? Oh, here, here it is. Okay. What does it do? Um. Try it on Sydney. I don't know why. What? I can just pygmy eyes people now at random? Is that supposed to be used on enemies? I don't even know. I'm gonna have to try that. Uh, First I have to cure Sydney. Damn it. Okay. Probably shouldn't have used that on Sydney. I, I assumed that was what was gonna happen actually. Just because that's generally what like hammers and games do. They have the... Well at least sometimes they have the ability to shrink people. Okay let's see if we can find an enemy around here somewhere. Just a, just a small... Here this guy. Let's try and use it on him. Now I can only use it on my three guys. Okay. Well, that's kind of strange. But, uh, I guess that might have some use in the future. I don't know if you have to, ever, like, go through a small opening or something. Whatever, I got it now. So, um, hope you guys are happy. Or whoever it was that wanted me to get that anyways. <laughs> now, let's head back to the gold isle, if I can rem remember where it is. Somewhere in the northeast, I think. Of course, it was northeast of like where the lofty mountains were. I'm not sure if it's northeast of where that was just now. I'll find it eventually. I mean, inevitably. What is this? There is something here. Dude, I'm gonna land here. Totally. Huh? What the hell is this? <laughs> Should I be here yet? I don't know. Um. Well, there is a door over here, so I could probably head in that. Is this somewhere I've already been? Is this like the air palace, maybe? I don't know. Can't move. Something's pushing us back. Oh, damn it! <laughs> it's the wall that says, no, you can't go this way. I feel like I could go in like one of these... I don't... Shoot. Well, I guess this place is just for later? I don't know. Huh. Randomly stumbling across areas like this? Whatever, I guess that's just the game's way of telling me, no, you're not supposed to go this way yet. You know, there are ants blocking your path, so it's best not to head this way. So you don't step on them and kill them. Alright, uh, let's keep on searching for Gold Isle. Sorry about that minor diversion. Oh, I think I found it. Is this it? Yeah, it's sparkling. Okay, it's gotta be this. <laughs> if I see that sparkle, I just know, man. Alright, sweet. Now that we got this key, we should be able to head up into the Gold Tower. And trespass and trespass and break this guy out of here. Hello. Ooh, we got some fun times ahead, apparently. Beast Zombie, oh my god. What a violent name for an enemy. Like, it's not bad that it's not bad enough that it's a beast, but it's it's like an undead beast. Is that, like, it's, that's scary, but they're pretty easy. And they're, they're hot pink, so I can't complain too much. Kind of reminds me of Okami, those guys, actually. Spears Orb. Nice. I have to get that infused right quick. Uh, more of these guys. I'm tired of these stupid ninjas. These dark ninjas, man. <laughs> They're the silliest enemies. I don't know what it is about them that I don't like, but I just don't like them very much. I don't know. Alright, just as one final test, because I'm not sure... Can I... I? Okay, I still can't use it on those guys. I don't know what that mallet is for, but maybe it'll come into light eventually. Probably through comments and stuff. Okay, ooh. Hello. It's probably best not to deal with you, actually. Alright, oh, Beast Zombie. I'm gonna fight you just for your name. Hell yeah. I don't know, for some reason these guys remind me of, like, the atmosphere of Oni Island in Okami. I don't know why. Maybe just some. Maybe there was an enemy there that was like those things. I don't, I don't rightly remember, because I haven't played Okami in a little while. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! No! Is this like another... Is this like a spiky tiger mark 2? Oh, shoot. Okay, let's find out. Um, 
We gotta know what this guy's weakness is, man. I'm not going through this without it. Blue spike. Yeah, okay. That's gonna be indicative of something. Okay, loss of HP. Pretty powerful. Uh, no weakness. Well, he's blue, so maybe... Actually, no, let's use some dark, dark magic on him, man. These witches, they're using dark magic on me! Alright, dark force. Let's go for it. Hell yeah. Ooh, oh my god, he looks scary when I do that. <laughs> He's probably resistant to like all types of magic. Dude, let go of me. He's like mauling my body. Oh my god, that was scary. How much of an arena do we really have here? Not nothing much. <laughs> I can't imagine that those pillars would be a good thing though. He he probably like, jump on top of me from them. Uh-huh. Dude, ow. Dude, get off of him. How have I not taken any hits yet? That's so weird. Okay, I guess I just have to... Oh, sh Oh my god, okay. That's kind of scary. His massive pinball attack, whatever that was. Oh, he's up there now. He's gonna do something, isn't he? Probably gonna cast magic from up there. That's what the spiky tiger did. Acid bubbles? Ew. Don't use your ass bubbles on me. Can I even hit you up there? I don't know if I can. Uh, I kind of want to wait for him to come down, to be honest. Oh, uh, but it, it does look like I can hit him up there, so I probably should have gone for it. Oh man, that sucked. Dude, get off me! Get off my body! Please! Dude, that is scary when he's like sitting on top of you. It looks like he's trying to just like eat your guts out. Ugh. Scary. You get down there. You get down from there, man. I'm gonna use Salamando on you like my instincts tell me to do, because blue versus red just makes sense in my head. Okay, well that did better than the dark magic thing. Let's just go all out. Let's use a super powerful attack. Let's use, um... Let's use Evil Gate. Whatever. Actually, let's use... Let's try to spell magic. Does this, like, just stop him from using magic, period? That might be what it does. I'm not sure entirely. Or does that actually do damage? I can, I'm not sure. Because I think someone hit him at the same time as that happened. Ooh. Well, this guy doesn't seem nearly as aggressive as the Spiky Tiger, funnily enough. I always hate that word funnily because it makes it sound like you're describing something that is like a funnel, but it's no, no, not at all. Yikes! Oh, this could take a while. I'm not sure. Well, let's just keep having fun with him here. Let's use some air blast. See what magic works best on him, I guess. Maybe it's just just because the darkness one was level zero. Well, apparently not. What was that meagle stare that he used? Dude, ow! Edge is unconscious, you get out of here. Dude, stop knocking me unconscious! Oh my god, get off my face. Off my case, toilet face. Oh, that's so not mine. I need to stop stealing catchphrases left and right. <laughs> I am so bad for that, I tell you. I'm, like, worse than anyone else. Okay. And I don't know if- I don't even know if it's worth it to charge up an attack, because I did- I did before and didn't seem to do that much. Maybe I just, like, missed or something, though? I'm not rightly sure. I guess I'll try it again here. Oh, okay, that was definitely worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because before it did like 41 damage. I don't know what was so different about it that time. Oh my god. Is he not dead? Dude, it looked, he, he was so in his dying animation. It, was that just like his animation for, ow, I took massive damage, and now I'm exploding. What the hell? Get out of here. Yeah, okay, that is really good. <laughs> I knew a level 5 charge couldn't do that little damage. When I first saw that, I was like, what? How dare you? How dare you dodge the barrel? Or jump the barrel? Whatever that line is. Mm. Oh, there he goes. Yay. Not bad. Didn't even have to use any items or anything, really. <laughs> Just used magic like a jackass. When I knew it didn't do much of anything. Yay. All right, now give me that lady's husband. I need to. I need him, man. I made a promise to her, and I gotta keep all my promises. Got the boomerang orb, sweet. All right, whoa. <laughs> all right, uh, let's just keep on going. Keep on trucking. Ooh, hello. Another boomerang orb or another orb of any kind? Axes orb, sweet. Right down here, nothing. Man, is this just the really short dungeon, or was, are we gonna have like a bunch of bosses throughout the dungeon? That'd be kind of cool. Haven't really seen anything quite like that yet. 
I guess that was something of a mini boss, I don't know. Well, I guess technically a lot of bosses in this game could be considered mini bosses, just because you fight them at like totally random times sometimes. Who leveled up there? Edry's level 38, sweet. Almost level 40, it's hard to even believe that I've come so far. And I've tried so hard! Alrighty. Why do I have a feeling that I'm just gonna keep like going up, up, like, and each floor is gonna have its own boss? Maybe that's the idea, it's like sort of like a battle tower sort of style thing. Let's head up before uh, that lava wave takes huge effect. Oh my god! <laughs> Are we, dude, what the hell is that guy? Ew, he's like, he's a, he's a copy of the Minotaur, I guess. Um, is he weak to anything, maybe? Let's find out. Dude, he, he just tried to Falcon punch me. Not gonna let you have that chance. He fears Sylphid, okay, perfect. Dude, ow! Then why didn't that Analyze hurt him? Maybe that's why he did that massive charge attack there. Okay, we gotta... Edge, you gotta do something here for us. Um, let's see. No. Get out the magic herbs, man. Medical herbs, I mean. And I uh, used one on Sydney, too. I just want us to be all awake. <laughs> Come on. Uh-oh. Shoot. Okay. Dude, oh my god. I can't let that guy charge me. That's really bad. It's kind of like that one col those colossi in Shadow of the Colossus that just, like, totally knock you out for so long. And they hit you. Okay. Gorgon Bull. You know, I beat the Gorgon! Oh sweet, let magic skill up. No be no better time than the present, I tell you that. If something's weak to Silpha, that's exactly when you want it to level up, I suppose. I think Silpha was also my lowest level magic with Edge, which is kind of ironic. I guess, I, I don't know, that's really not really irony. Alright, uh, don't you dare charge her again. You He's gonna get her, I know he is, but still. Okay, at least you got up in the nick of time. Alright. Uh, in the meantime, while well, Edge just keeps attack. Well, can I actually? Oh shoot, Sydney's dead! Oh my god, I didn't even see that coming. You bitch. Okay, uh, is he gonna charge me? No, he's gonna cast Defender level eight. You son of a bitch. Did he just block that attack. That's such a dick move. Okay, um, let's get a couple wishes going here. And uh, then we'll also get Edge to keep casting his magic. And I did fill up a. At some point, I also filled up when I went to like buy clips from a store. I also filled up on like magic walnuts and all that good stuff. Damn it! Oh my God, Edge died too. Jesus, this guy's powerful. <laughs> Much more threatening than that freaking blue spike was. Holy cow. Okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to make these cups of wishes last, though. That's the thing. Either that or just keep heading out and like refilling my supplies periodically as time goes on. Thankfully, after each boss, I do get healed, though, I know that much. Okay, let's keep on doing this. Keep on keeping on. Alright, Argon, wake up. Please wake up. Please. There we go. We're gonna get uh, Sydney to actually use Cure Water here. That's probably the optimal thing to do, is just get her to, like, heal everyone periodically when you're not super low in health, but low enough to be concerned. I guess that is sort of the idea. Dude, this guy's charge attacks are nothing to be taken lightly. Holy cow. Ouch. <laughs> I need to get this guy down right quick. Okay, um... I don't want to use Gnome. I want to use Silphid. There we go. What was Sydney's magic? Does her Silphid have any crazy abilities, maybe? Balloon. Let's try Balloon on him. Why not? Dude, ow. Holy crap. Jeepers Crow, man. Alright, uh, Sydney, you're gonna need to heal me up here. I'm at least starting to get the... The idea behind, like, uh, switching characters when, like, one is unconscious. Or when my main character is unconscious. He's got those freaking like, Wolverine spikes coming at him, and that's scary. Come on, man. He's gotta be near his... He's gotta be on his last legs, almost. Holy cow. I don't have much MP left, though. But I do have lots of healing ability, so... There we go! I'm gonna need it for right now. Sweetness! Oh, I'm up over 400 HP with Argon. That's pretty sad. That's that's pretty sad? No. That's pretty awesome. Sawsome. Awesome possum. Hellsome. I remember someone pointed out that word I said in one video, like, Hellsome. I think it was a Wind Waker video. 
And I was like, yeah, that is cool. That is a cool word, cool turn of phrase, I guess. Not that I really made it up, did I? Oh, are we already at the top? Well, um... I guess let's, let's see what we got here. Ooh, hello! Oh my gosh, first we got darkness, now we got Lumina! Yes! Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this. I'm Lumina. The king was robbing me of my power. He was forcing me to make gold. My power should not be used by anyone but you. Take my powers before evil engulfs us all! Dude, that was so bright, I had to, like, squint my eyes. But there we go, we got Lumina's powers, yay! Alright, and, uh, don't forget this mana seed. Man, that was two in the span of a pretty sh small amount of videos there. Not bad, I guess light and darkness go hand in hand, though, so I shouldn't, shouldn't have expected anything less. Let's see, um, let's see about this magic. Okay, uh, oh, so I get it, so Edge gets the darkness, which means that Sydney gets Lumina, okay. Edge gets shades, then you guys use Luna. So we got lightsaber. <laughs> That's funny. Lucent beam and lucid barrier. No alchemy? Aw. <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't want to become a greedy bastard like that king fellow. Let's, uh... The fellowship of the king. Okay, let's get out of here. Can't use magic rope here. Oh, well, whatever. It's not that long of a walk anyways, I don't think. Oh, maybe I can use it here. Maybe that was just, like, the upper floor and I just couldn't use it. I'm not totally sure. There we go. Yay. Alright, so now what's gonna happen? Uh, I guess we should go talk to the king to see what he has to say about all this. About this crazy development that we have here on our hands. Oh, I'm gonna need to end this off soon. I think I'm gonna talk to the king and then end it off. Or at least I'm gonna find out what happens. Okay, let's see. Mr. King, where are you? Kingly red lion guy. Money, money, it's all mine! Oh, he doesn't even care. Wow. The world's richest place. Well, there you go. Okay, um... But you know what? I still have yet to find Sage Jock. So I'm going to have to deal with that. Because that's the whole thing. I've been, like, gallivanting all around this world looking for that guy. And I just cannot for the life of me find him. I'm, he's always one step ahead of me, apparently. So, um... I guess that's that. I'm probably going to keep on looking for him next time. So thanks, everyone, for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.